Hello and welcome to the July 6th update of the corruption trial of former Governor Rob Blagojevich. For Illinois State House News, I'm Bill McMorris. Federal authorities approached Rob Blagojevich about his alleged misdeeds in 2005, but the governor assured them everything was fine. He had a firewall set up which completely divorced governance from fundraising. But then along comes Jerry Krozel, a construction professional who raised some money for Blagojevich in the 2002 and 2006 election cycles. Now, by 2008, he had become slightly disillusioned with the Blagojevich administration, so he was very surprised when he was contacted by representatives from Governor Blagojevich to arrange a meeting. Now, in the fall of 2008, Blagojevich was in dire straits. Uh, he was in uh, kind of a deadlock with the legislature. But Bogoyevich still assured Krozel that he could pass a capital bill which guaranteed billions for road construction on the tollway without legislative approval. There was one catch for the deal though, and that was that as far as Krozel was concerned, Bogoyevich was asking him to raise money. He testified that he believed at the time during the conversation that this bill would be dead in the water if he didn't go out and raise some funds for the governor. Now this runs counter to what Blagojevich told federal authorities in 2005 but you know there are many interpretations for it. The defense has been contending all along that when charges like this arise it's typical politics. Blagojevich is trying to you know rally allies together or attempt some political ploy to get things done in Springfield. So you know, this isn't very cut and dry. But there is a charge, and that is lying to federal authorities, which prosecutors are confident they can win. Patrick Murphy, the FBI agent who interviewed Blagojevich in 2005, said that the governor t told him that he did not really spend much time fundraising. Well, you know, he did while he was a candidate, but once he was elected to the governor's mansion, he kept his nose clean. But two former fundraisers of Blagojevich's, Daniel Stills and Kelly Glynn, testified that they personally talked fundraising with Blagojevich. And not just numbers, they talked details, what people were raising, uh, what individuals were bringing towards them, and Blagojevich reacted in a very uh, gruff manner if he was displeased. Uh, he called people BSers if they weren't performing up to par. So you have the testimony of two former fundraisers saying that Blagojevich regularly attended fundraising talks. So th this could be problematic for defense attorneys. They have not, uh, not had an easy time uh, talking to these two women. They've, uh, they've tried to go by the, uh, the politics as usual. Every candidate talks fundraising, but it makes it more difficult when your client's own testimony to FBI runs different than what you're saying right now. Uh, Bogoyevich's uh, construction ally, former construction ally, Krozel will be back on the stand tomorrow. Uh, we're not sure if any tapes are coming. We didn't get any today, but we have plenty of images. From Illinois State House News, I'm Bill McMorris. Catch our podcasts, our regular updates, which appear in radio stations uh, like WOC up in Rockford and newspapers across the country, uh, across the state, maybe the country, who knows, uh, on a daily basis. We'll see you tomorrow.